Hello. Hi everyone. How you doing? Hi. Thank you for joining us. Um, for people who haven't seen our first part, my name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And we are from Matusu Crafts. Can you say Matusu? I say Matusu. Matusu, tomato, tomato. Which uh, we're having for dinner tonight. Which we're having for dinner tonight, <laughs> yes. So Matusu, Matosu, um, that's, our, that's our name. So whatever way you... Oh, oh I forgot one thing. Ah, oh, failed. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's good. Um, so it looks like all of you have come over. looks like the links work because we're yeah. straight up tonight. Okay, well, we're finally getting ahead of this. Thank you for coming Thanks. over. Yes. So we are going to crack on with our demonstrations. So are we going to show the cards? Oh, the cards which are going to be making? Yeah, you're... you're... Well, I'm wobbling again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we are going to be making this one here. Ooh. Ooh, which is using the new um, the decorative um, patterns masks, okay? Oh, no, that's not it. Basic patterns decorative masks. So that one there, and using the craft white reinker technique, okay? So this one. That's the one which we're going to be using. Um, so we it comes all... with uh, three other designs, which is the trees, the polka dots, and that. <laughs> I don't a know. filigree one, yeah, I don't okay. know, a flowery one, I don't know what to do. Um, we'll call it that. Um, and then we're actually going to be make, showing you, so it's kind of like you're going to be able to make four cards from one stencil inking is the, is the plan. Let's hope it goes to plan. Yeah. Um, so you're going you're gonna to stencil up once and then we're going to use the leftover inks to um, create different fun backgrounds. And we've run it through the big shot and embossing and so on like that. So you'll see what we mean when we do it. I think what we might have to do is zoom out a little bit so people can actually see once we yeah, go we in there, we can lift it up. Yeah. So bear with us. So I'm going to show you the first one and then we'll show you what you can do with the leftover ink yeah. um, on everything else there as well. So I reckon I'm going to do two um, and Jay might do two. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens, or I might just do all yeah. four of them, or three of them at least, and then you can do the fourth one. Yeah. Okay. So we are independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators based in the UK. So if you do uh, see any products uh, that you would like to purchase from us, uh, you can get them from our online shop if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands. Yay, remember Yay. that. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Stampin' Sue. So, yeah. Cool. Yes, so, uh, yes, just, um, yeah. We can I start. That's it. Cool. So let's move that over I'll, so I can I'll see. Think of what I need to do. Yeah, Jay doesn't actually know what he's doing actually at all. So um, that's cool. Go all on. right, lovely. Let's flick the camera around and we will um, see what happens. Oh, don't move. Good job. Have I lost my seat already? No. No. We went okay. on my seat. All right, so just bear with me one moment whilst I get myself set up here. Um, what's going on over here today? Because your camera is on the thing. There we go. There we go. That's it. Cool. Excellent. So let's just have a... So this is the first card we are going to make. All right, so um, what you're going to need is you will need some some cut a card base okay so this is cut at 14.5 centimeters this way by 21 this way okay and is then scored at 10 and a half centimeters down the middle so you're going to want to do that you can fold and you can burnish this one here already so that's that so that, put that to one side that is now ready for you okay um, nothing special going on with that one. Then what we're going to need is I'm going to need some black card here. All right, so this has been cut to, um, I can't nine remember what. This has been cut to nine centimeters by 13 centimeters. Okay, so that's what this is going to do. And that's going to give us a quite a nice border around here. So that's the one that sits on there. We're going to use the white and the black quite nicely like so all right so i will need some of that tape actually some of the um removable tape which yeah. is you no know, can i have some other the clear tape in the roll which is in the top of the caddy top of the caddy yeah got it thank okay. you so just some removable tape here 
and we are going to just have to gently put this over the top. Can you put it underneath? Like, roll it and then put it underneath. Oh, I probably could actually. Um, that's not a bad idea. So, is okay, that so I'm going to roll it. Is that showing? Roll it up like that. I'm going to pop a bit of tape here. Okay, and then I'm going to then. Because what I don't want to happen is I don't want this to. Um, I don't want this to move. Okay. So that's now stuck down, and that's the reason we've done it like that. What I would, what I was going to do is I was going to stick it at the top here and a bit on the side, but the problem is that we've cut this down to size already, so it's, it, you would have left some tape marks on there. So what I would suggest is if you don't want to, if you want to put some tape on here, make this part bigger than it needs to be, do all of your sponging and your stenciling, and then trim it down to size afterwards. Okay, so that's what I would recommend. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take the um, the stencil. No, nope. it was here. Where's it gone already? Oh, there. I buried it. He's buried it. Oh, typical. And then we're going to pop this like so. And we're gonna do this top and bottom. Okay, so that's my stencil in place. Okay, so nothing is moving now. The black is secure, the stencil is secure, so I'm good to do a bit of rubbing. So this is gonna make the camera wobble. I will give you a little bit of a warning on that one there because I'm gonna be gonna be shaking. I'll try to keep it to a minimum if I can. Um, I'm going to take some sponges. I'm going to take three sponges. Is that zoomed in or just really close? Just really close. Mm -hmm. Join it out a little bit. It's because this is where it is, because this is in a different position. That's fine. Okay, I'm going up a little bit. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Hi, everyone. Okay, that's a bit better. All right, so what I'm going to do is the craft white ink technique, okay? If you haven't got one of these silicon sheets, you can do it on a block, okay? Um, can I have a block, actually, yeah. Jay? So what you're going to do is you're going to grab... So you want to get yourself some... Hi, Carol. What you want to do is you want to get yourself some of the Wisp and White craft ink, okay, here. This is the ink refill, which would normally go in the pad, Okay, I'm going to do it on this first. I oh, know because you wanted to do something with this afterwards. This is what your technique was afterwards, wasn't it? Yeah, kind of. Okay, all right. I'll do it this way and we'll see what, what happens. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to drop one, one blob of craft ink to I also need a um, something to stir this in as well with Jay and also with one drop of reinker grab yourself a little spatula palette knife palette knife sorry which is available on the catalog and give it a mix up okay so there we go. I'd also need some. No, that's fine. I can just do that. And then just wipe the excess off, excess off on your sponge. So now what we're going to do is I am now going to take that to the side and I'm just going to sponge this. And because it's on black ink, on black card, sorry, it's going to now show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stipple. I find that stippling works best. Um, you can you can rub it in, but then I find that stippling gives you more of an intense colour. Okay, and what you probably need to do is I would suggest you make this up as you go. So I'm going to need some more. So I'm going to need some more white craft ink. So it's better to make as you go. It's a it's a one to one ratio here for these two, for these color. The only one which is going to go different on is the yellow. 
say, but on the darker colours go a one to one ratio. And we give that a mix up as well. You mix it funny. I mix it funny, what do you mean? You just use the tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then down again, and then we'll then stipple that back in again. So we're going over and so in, in a way you're kind of making your own um your, your own pigment ink really is what you're doing obviously the inks which we use are dye based inks so we by adding the white craft ink you're adding you're kind of, you're kind of making your own pigment which is why it stands out on black card it wouldn't normally do that so i'm going to need some more i'm going to I'll come back to that in a second. So we'll leave that sponge to one side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my blue. And we're going to go down in this area down here now. And just to show you, I'm just using, using, using? using the chamois to just um, take off the colour of the thing as well. Uh, oh. There you go. Just to clean your palette knife so your chamois can use that. You can use that as well. Yeah. And this time I've, you know, I've got Pacific Point now, so one to one ratio. We know I am going to probably need to make two lots up, but we will cover it. It's better to make it as we go, and we'll just give that a stir around there. To mix the craft ink in with the thing. That's it, I just need to remember what one I've used already. That's it. So that's the one. Okay. These 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 sponges are clean, so it doesn't matter. But obviously, they've, they've just been they've just stained, so that's not a purple I'm putting in. That's and then I'm just going to then mix that in over here. And that was obviously a different colour to what I used the first time, Joe. But I'm actually really quite liking Pacific Point. It's really vibrant. Oh, is it not? Sorry, I I was. No. You must have used Night of Need. No, I think it was actually Bermuda Bay, which I used ah, the first okay. time round. Um, but Pacific Point has come up really, really good. Yeah, whilst Barry was making dinner, he asked me to uh, prep his stuff. So I didn't know what colours he used and I just made it up. <laughs> so there we go. So that's that. Um, I'm going to come back to that one again in a second. So I put that to one side. So there's my blue, there's my red. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my yellow. So I'm just going to go over this side here now. So I'm going to do one drop of ink. Now, because this is a lighter color, I'm going to go two drops of the yellow because it comes up lighter. And Give that a stir and a mix up. So you can see how light that's gone already. With one drop, I think that would just be too light. So you need, if you're using lighter colours, use a, use more. And then we're just going to stipple that on top. Now I'm going to go over and start to blend the colours in. What yellow are you using? Daffodil Delight, I think it is. Yeah. When I get back to you. Yes, try it, Lindo. Okay, and obviously we're going to go over the colours as well, so they're going to start to blend in. You're going to get yellow and blue. You're going to start to get a little bit of green creep in here. Yellow and red, you're going to get a bit of orange. And obviously red and blue, you're going to get the purple, which is why I like to try and keep it with the primary colours because you know that they're all going to work with each other. So I've done one layer already. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over and I'm going to do that again. So that's had a little bit of time to dry. So I'm going to do, you know what, I'm going to go two drops, I'm going to go straight in, go two drops red to two drops white. A rebel. Do you need more? <laughs> there we go. Mix that up. Nice. It looks like um, cranberry. No cranberry. 
cherry syrup. <laughs> and then we go back over it again. Okay, because it will it will lighten up as you do it. So on the craft on the white black card, so you kind of just need to intensify it a little bit. And stipple rather than rub, I find is better. Then you will probably need to, obviously we let ours dry up. Um, it has been drying for a couple of days actually before I did it, before I did anything with it. So we will need to heat set this so we can start crafting on this straight away. Um, what we could do is um, do all of the backgrounds first and then I'll heat gun it. In yeah, the okay. And I'm just gonna, I'm only doing one of the blue because I've only got a, a small blue patch here. Okay, and we come back in with the blue again. We just intensify that a little bit. And come over into the red a little bit more, just so it bleeds and blends in. You can see there's some purples forming here now. Okay, so that's that part done. And the final part, we will do the yellow, so we will do two yellow to one white okay grab my sponge again and we'll just bring that in Okay. So, done. That is that first background done. Okay, don't clean this off because we're going to show you something, what you can do with this. So, we're going to make sure you don't waste anything tonight. So, leave that as it is and we'll show you what you can make another card out of that. So, now this part here, this is the reveal. Okay. Do, do. We will. I can go straight in the bin before I put my fingers somewhere. And then we will then. Dun -dun. Okay. Wow. So it actually looks quite pretty on that one. Okay. So we will take that. And don't clean this off yet because we're going to do something with that. This is literally, we are going to be doing something with everything. <laughs> it's so crafty. Okay. And we will. Carefully take that off, and that's good, that part is there. So you can see now, there is our stenciling through our, on stenciling on black card, okay? So you can see that's very wet, that will need some time, that will need to be heat set, okay? So I'm gonna put that to one side. Do you wanna pop that somewhere where a cat won't stand on it? Okay. I'll put it on the shelf up here. Okay, so now I need to remember what I did. So if you haven't got a craft sheet, um, you can do this on a block, okay? But ideally, if you have a craft sheet, we're going to see what Jay's going to do with that at the end. Now, I don't actually know what he's going to do with that at the end because we haven't planned that part. Um, <laughs> so, um, I don't need the re-inkers anymore. They can go to one side for me, okay. please, Jay. That's good, right. And this needs to clear up because I need a bit of room. So, what we are going to do, and I don't actually need that for the moment, I do need my stencil, so bear with me one moment whilst I reset, because I'm going to do all the backgrounds first, so we're going to bring this, we're going to bring the big shot in. So, how did I do this again now, where's some, um, the black one here, I did the black one first, yep. wasn't it, okay, and I also need some whisper, a big piece of whisper white, A5 bit of whisper white to go down underneath, oh, okay. please. I thought you pre-cut everything. No, I didn't pre-cut anything. <laughs> because 
except, no, I mean, like, I've pre cut everything. Oh, right, no. It's because the, the, this part, okay. The reason that you can do this, and what you can do is we can then put this down here, and we're going to then run this through the big shot, like so, okay? But what I want to do is I want to transfer the ink from the back part and then onto here. So we're going to use this as kind of like a bit of, um, you can put a bit of copy paper down, but I want to actually use the excess. Okay. So we're then going to then pop that down like that. Okay, so you've got Whisper White underneath. You've then put your stencil on. And then we're going to then take the black card here. And that's going to go in like that. Okay, does that sandwich make sense? Okay, so your normal sandwich for die cutting. Some Whisper White, stencil, face up, black card, face down. Or it doesn't really matter, but whatever way you want the, 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 the ink to go onto. Card on top, and then run it through the machine. Um, I missed the beginning, did you use white first? So I used, it was white craft ink, one drop of white craft ink to one drop of um, reinker. If it was a light colour, um, it was two drops reinker. Okay, so I'm just running this backwards and forwards a couple of times to get a good transfer of colour. And I've just realised that I didn't do something again. Did you not put um, no. copy paper on top? on top? So that's now transferred the ink onto <laughs> the plates. What you also need to do is you need to put copy paper on top as well so you don't get your plates all inky. Um, but hey ho. Just make something with it. Luckily, I didn't <laughs> want that. I didn't want that part which was on the top. You can see that's transferred some ink onto our plates. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this part off and we're going to. Joe's going to remove that. Okay. So we have now did a reveal here. We have now transferred, got a very light colour of that ink onto the black. And it's also, because it's gone through the emboss, the big shot, it's also embossed it ever so slightly as well. You can see on the back image. So we've got a little bit of um, transfer over. So that's that part there. So we've used the excess ink up. And then on this one, we have now transferred the ink from this over to this and this is now where it needs to get cut down mm -hmm. to size um so if you use the original one as a guide to how i cut it down um and things so would you do that for me jay yeah actually you don't need to do that one first of all that can be that can be dried up there is still ink on here um and another thing which you can do as well um shall we spritz yeah, that's what I was going to do, basically. Okay, so well, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this, and we'll leave this part, and Jay's going to do a little bit of spritzing right. with this one. Shall I do the... Do you want to do that now? So yeah, it, so, so then all of the backgrounds okay. are done. So we've done, we've done the backgrounds, okay, so we've got one background, you saw the first one, and then we've got the third background, and remember, this is all just from one inking of stencil. So we're going to let these dry up a little bit. Jay's going to come in and do his spritzing so that can dry up and then we'll go over and do the other thing as well. So I'm going to move over to Jay. Right. So I'm just going to cover underneath with just so it doesn't go everywhere. So this is a craft sheet. You can use a big piece of acetate uh, or plastic, any type of non-porous surface and I'm just clearing the area because I will be spritzing um, so I haven't tested this bear with uh, where's my whisper whites so earlier I thought Barry already um, was pre-cut he already pre-cut the um, the paper that went underneath not realizing that's what he wanted to do so I'm just gonna use these as the for my paper so this is the same size as the basic black card that he was using so nine yeah nine by 13 centimeters uh, I've got my spritzer here I have filled it with alcohol uh, rubbing alcohol which is iso what's it called isopropanol this is what I'm using 
isopropyl rubbing alcohol so you can get that um, online or you can use water it's too bright yeah. but I thought I'll do alcohol so it dries faster is that That's better right now, yeah it's it? just normally just one up Sorry, Barris, playing with the. I'm just going to put some lights on. With the it's light. Because you're using the cr the, that sheet as well. Yeah. As too. We'll leave it as it is. Okay. I think you're fine at the moment. So I'm just going to basically spritz that and then reactivate the ink on it. And I'm just going to get some. So you can use copy paper or just any. What you call it? Scrap paper. Scrap paper. That's it. Place that on top, and then just rub. So fingers crossed that will have a more wishy washy look. Yeah, it's just you just reactivate that ink. Haven't yeah. You? And let's see. Ah, oh, didn't. But that's that's quite nice. So that is that does look a little bit like that, but you can see that it's a bit more uh, intense on there. I would. Say you could probably go over and do that again and have a real arty background. And yeah, you try, can. You could probably spritz and then push in and get some different. Try that. Okay. Yes, sir. We don't know. This is playing now. We don't actually know how this is going to turn out, and then maybe just dob into it. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> Good catch. So I'm just gonna change that up and hopefully it'll cover that area a bit more. There we go. Yes, it is very inky. <laughs> so, um, be prepared to get ink hands. Oh, that's quite nice. The overlaid two Spill, stencils. Yeah. So that's quite nice. Maybe just dob in a little bit in the and then over there with the blue. Here we go. And that's nice with the yellow there. And if you want to do, you just reactivate it again. So do you want another spritz? No, I think that's fine. Because otherwise it'll just get too muddy. You don't want to do it too much because you'll get muddy colours. Yeah. So that's, um, I've overlaid that two or three times, three or four times even. So you can still see the design, but it's been uh, masked by the design on top of it. And you can, because it's whisper white, you can feel some of the airs that's still wet on top. Okay. So that's the one that I Ooh, Ooh. 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 Do you want some more paper? <laughs> <laughs> I've got another paper, that's fine. So it's here. So uh, that, the other thing that I was going to do was actually the, the mat. So um, if you can just do the... Sh Where's the chamois? It's on the floor. So you can mop the up as well. But Are I'm going to... mop it up or are you just going to do a spritz on that one there as well? Yeah, you, you, you can do another spritz on it. So, you need another bit of paper where? Yeah. So we're not wanting to uh, waste anything. <laughs> so I've just spritzed the alcohol on there. What size would it have been, Joe? Was it 9 by 13? 9 by 13, yeah. And I'm going to do it this way. So basically, I'm laying the stencil on top. Is it going to be too much? I don't think that's going to work. Let's have a look. So I've laid the stencil on top and then made that wet. Even more. Okay. Let's see. It's not going to work how I wanted it to. It was too wet. I like it. That's quite cool. <laughs> So because of the stencil, it, you can't see the stencil, 
but you can see that when I dunk the, the stencil on top, it created the lines where it pulls the paper. So it is, it's not as random as, as, yeah. That's yeah. very pretty. I like yeah. that. That's nice. Because you can see the lines. I think that's because of the stencil, but I might, it might just be me. But I, that's really pretty. I like that. Yeah. So the other one that I was going to do, have we got anything to just wipe it? The Shami. Shami. There you go. Right. Let's get rid of that one now. So the other one that I wanted to try. So these two have gone off piece now. Yeah. <laughs> so not just four. <laughs> no, six. we've now gone to six cards with one lot of ink in. <laughs> was actually this one. So I was just going to literally spritz it. And then yeah, run the colors. Run the colors. Maybe water would be better for this one, but I'm just making sure that most of the paper, uh, most of the silicone sheet is covered. Uh, I guess I can help it along with. The palette knife, I just wanted to spread that away so it's not. Yeah, that's fine. Right, okay, that's pretty covered. And I'm gonna do what I was intending to do earlier basically do it that way and then get your paper on top let's see if this will work and I'm just rubbing it at the back hoping that it the paper will soak up the ink from under the stencil. The acrylic block is a good tip. Um, I did want to fill underneath the stencil because with the acrylic block, it the paper won't go underneath the stencil and I wanted to do it that way. But yes, um, if you want more pressure onto the top, you can do the acrylic block. Thank you for that. Um, Stampin' Sue. Right. Where did you put my one which needs drying? Right on top, somewhere. Is it not up there? On top okay. of the cases. Because I know um, Mini goes up there. Right, I'm let's have a mine. look. There you go. So it is the same. So it actually it it did it actually work? So you have the first one from Barry's uh run through the big shot. The second one with a bit more layers on it. And then the third one just from the background and then a fourth one. So it is a lot of, um, but I made the most of the ink that's already on the mat and the silicone sheet and on the stencil. So you can make funky backgrounds, uh, different colors, obviously. Barry's just drying the first one because it was really, really wet. So this is the card that he made with the original card. And this one was done using the Delicata uh, ink pad, the metallic ink pad. And what he did with that one. Are you actually going to show how to stamp the card? Yes. Is it, is it dry enough? Yeah, that one's okay. dry now. Cool. Well, I'll clear my mess. And Barry can finish off. Yes, this one here I just want to draw out for a moment. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think of those? Uh, Barry's just drying his things. I'll get his bits sorted. 
uh, he wanted that one and he needs the stamparatos oh look yeah this came as well so if you have the stamparatos this is the foam uh, with the grid on one side which is great for uh, obviously aligning your um, your paper and you'll need that for po photopolymer stamps as well and it's got the foam on top uh, at the bottom even so the sentiment that he used was happy birthday from what's it called I had the stamp set from perennial birthdays so, so it's that one. this one here so look at that it's quite a nice uh, big sentiment uh, most of the, uh, yeah all of the sentiment that we're using tonight are from different <laughs> different yeah. stamp set but use those. what use whatever you have um, so let's see where is it so my tip for the stamp ratos is don't go right on the edge So this is, yeah, so I don't know if I've shown you. This is the, Baris just the, run the heat tool on that. Um, and it seems quite um, dry. So that's good. So I'm just aligning it a couple of, uh, a couple of centimeters away from the edge. Right, and I'm just gonna lay that where where I want it. So that's one, two, three, three centimeters from the top. Close your lid, flat platform, even. Yeah, but like I said, I did this several times. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was gonna do. So um, another tip for you, if um, if you haven't had um, used the stamp products before is when you're inking up your platform it's good to have something underneath so you're not so you can ink up level uh, so most uh, it doesn't matter that you get ink on the platform anyway but it's just easier um, to make sure that all of your stamps is covered so as I said we use the Delicata ink pad metallic ink pad and there we go so i'm just going through that a couple of times and because it's uh, on black paper barry did stamp it a few times so that's why i'm using the stamp apparatus as well oh he's actually switched that off there you go so that's one. So you can see there's hardly anything on there. How many times? <laughs> yeah, you can, I've got it a better template than that the first time. Push harder. So we kind of like wanted to do. Um, different ways to add sentiments as well on your on the background so this was one way that we that we thought of for without any other tool so ob obviously we we use the heat tool so you can heat emboss which is going to be the next one but you can wait for the backgrounds to dry i don't know how many times have, is that now Hi Sharon, hi Donna. But that's the amazing. It's the benefit of having yeah. a tool like this. You can go over. You can and just over go over and, and over, 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 over again. So, and I don't know how many times. I'm... I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm I just talking. I just carried on going until I was. Um... Okay. Well, we'll stop there. It looks okay. Okay. Well, one more. Okay. I don't know if I've moved it already. We'll see. So just build up that metallic ink. There you go. 
Right, that is done. And because it's metallic, obviously it will shine as well and glimmer it away. There you go. Cool. So How you cool have. That? Perfect for a mail card, this one as well. I think it's very. Um... It's quite modern with the, with the yeah. design, I think. It is. Okay. Pretty. Do you want to do the next one? I'll do the next one. I've forgotten what I'm doing with the next one. With the, <laughs> yeah, um, <that's> it. <laughs> so the next one you can talk through, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So the next one, then, obviously, as you'll know, is uh, we did the second background. So we have got that one there, which is the negative of the stencil. So we've got the pot. Jay's just done the positive one. That one there. We've now got the the second impression, so it's a it's a lighter version of it, and we're going to do some heat embossing over the top of it. So we're going to do this in white. Okay, so we will. You need the heat tool. I do need the heat tool actually, and I've left it next door whilst I was. So we will position that in place. I'm now going to be taking the sentiment here from Genuine Gems, okay? And <clears throat> I told the universe to send you some awesome, awesome your way. And we're going to pop you in the middle, like so. One thing I will do first is because, because this is probably wet, well, it shouldn't be wet, is, but I would recommend that you, you give it a dab with that. Now, can you get that brush from the bathroom, please? Okay, so. Oh no, you ruined it! Well, oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, I And haven't. then just make up, brush it over. That, well, don't worry about this, this'll be fine. Okay, get a bit of a, a very soft brush. Do and you like my fake reaction? <laughs> I, well, I, I believed it to start off with. Because I'm a couple of fuck on the dumb. Okay. And then we'll pop that in, like so. So that was just the embossing buddy which I've used there to take off any, um, to dry it off completely. Okay, and we're gonna pop that in like so. I'm gonna pick up my sentiment here. Am I center, am I straight there, do you reckon? And we will also need some Bursa Mark. Bursa Mark. Got sacked. He hasn't got me my stuff. <laughs> I thought he had it. There you go. There you go. Some Bursa Mark. Okay. And we will just ink up the. So if you can't see, what we're doing is we're just inking up this. So getting that good and inky. Coming up with some weird words tonight. Good and inky. Bring that over and ink that down. And there we go. So if I do that, a bit of copy paper now as well. I'm just going to move some stuff around so I don't. So that has now just given me an impression in there. You can see that the, the craft ink, the white, the Versa mark is now that. I'm going to take some white embossing powder. Oh, it's not been opened yet. Ooh, we've got a new. Oh, never mind. <laughs> What's that? There we go. I hope you didn't want that part, Joe. You're not getting it now. now. <laughs> and we're just going to pour this on. Okay. Don't be scared. I see people just got like just a little bit. Chuck the pot on. <laughs> Chuck it on. Don't be don't be don't be scared. Get it on there. That's why you've got a bit of paper underneath. And then you cover everything. Okay. So. And then a bit of paper. And then we put it back into the container. 
so you haven't wasted anything so just chuck the pot on don't be scared just get it on there just don't drop the pot before you put the lid on it <laughs> there we go sealed it up so you can see now that's all all done okay now's the magic part i'm going to turn the heat tool on so i'm now going to heat set this and you're going to see this turn Okay, so that has now gone from a matte finish. You probably can't see that. Too. Uh, it's not, but it's gone from a matte finish. It's now gone shiny, and it's now it's now set there. So there we go. That is card number two. So let's finish these two cards up first. So yep. can I have some um, card bases Next and you. some dimensionals? Right in front here. Okay, so we're going to take some dimensionals here. I'm going to need a second strip, I reckon, and some scissors and a pokey tool. I don't know where the scissors are. Here. You move them. And I'll take your pick tool. So what we're going to do is we are just going to take this one here and I'm just going to pop some dimensionals on the back. So I'm going to use the take your pick tool. So that's all of my dimensionals used now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to snip these outer parts, and I'm now going to use these parts. So nothing, <laughs> nothing is going to waste tonight. So I'm going to pop it in the middle. And I'm going to pop some there because I don't want a saggy middle. And why are you laughing, Jay? I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking how to finish the rest of the card. <laughs> okay, and then we'll just take these off. So this is really, really straightforward here. Um, it's, it's one stencil, like I say, um, it's meant to be four cards, but it's turned into about six. Just from one lot of inking. And we're letting the stencil do the work, um, mainly. Um, keeping it very simple with just the sentiment. Let's draw it, Jay making some noise there. So you're still with us. Who's still on there? There we go. So, oh, and I've taken that pattern, that one off. There we go. So that's all of that done. We will then get that roughly in the centre and once I'm happy with the positioning then go down. Okay. So there is first card like that. Oh no! I <laughs> think the battery's about to die. Oh no. Quick, get a charger. <laughs> okay, so there's that one there. Um, second one on the card base, that one there, and the same thing. Actually, I just, what I'm going to do is just gonna give that a rub on my trousers to take off any, um, and then pretty much that wheel is going to go mm. like that. Okay, so exactly the same. So the finished card will look like that. So it's on dimensionals there. So why don't okay. you put the one just flat on the card? So it's like a it's more of a step down than a step up. Okay, what do so you mean? Go. Okay. Yeah, so one, the first one could have been like a basic one, and then this would have been a step up, but we've done it the other way. Okay, so we are going to go flat instead of raised up. 
because it's been heat set and so on like that as well, it is buckled. So what you may want to do is you may want to, once you've got your glue down on this, pop a book on top of it. Pop it between some pages. So can you do that for me, Jay? So that's that one there. That's going to be down there nice and flat, suitable for postage. Can you pop that between something so that that um, does that? So we're going to move on to the third one, okay? So that one is here. We are also going to be using some of the um, ribbon here. What's it called? The textured woven ribbon in Granny Apple Green, okay? So that there is going to be nine centimetres. Um, so it's the length of the card. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit longer and then we can trim it down afterwards. We then also need some black cardstock, um, which... I've already cut one that, I think that's... Because you have a mat. We've got a mat which is going to go on that one there. So that can go down on that. That can be stuck down to that one straight away. So that could be getting good and good and stuck. So that's that one there ready, and I can then stick this onto the card base as well. So that's that part done. Okay, so that's that there. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to... I just need um, some double-sided tape now. Behind here. Go. Thank you very much. Um. So some double-sided tape. And I'm just going to stick this down somewhere, I reckon, around about there. Take that off. And that's going to now help stick my ribbon down. I actually want to trim this ribbon down a little bit. So that's going to go... It's going to hold my ribbon in place. All right. Get my scissors and um, just... Just tidy these edges up a little bit. So it doesn't matter if they fry at the end as well. Just adds a little bit of character to the card. Okay, so that's that's in like so. Now I want my bit here. Um, so that's actually too big. Yeah, I thought you could um, because it's easier to use a um, see-through one, a photopolymer. So I got you. Okay. Where's the stamp? I don't know. From the Daisy Delight stamp, the thank you one. Yeah. So did you want to show your original one? Oh, okay. Well, okay. So you agree. Okay, that's why I'm confused because we're going off yeah, piece so here. Just to change it <laughs> so all right. So there's my original one there. So I've done it um, like this with the thanks. Um, from, I can't remember what stamp set I used that from. Magnolia. The Magnolia um, suite. Um, Good morning, Magnolia. Yeah. Which was from that one there. So I've used the thanks on this one. So we are now going to be using the thank you from um, the um, Daisy one, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. Daisy Delight. So... Which I don't know where the stamp set is. So we will pop this in position like so. Again, I'm going to just take my embossing buddy here to get make sure I've de de deactivated or get a brush and just um, Oh. 
And because this is photopolymer, I also need the um, the foam pad, please. Oh, I, I thought you were just going to do it. Do it oh, by sorry. hand. No. But that's a good way of to show that one. So this is the new um, the new foam mat here for the for the stamparatus. So they brought it in. It comes with a black foam mat inside the stamparatus, but what they've got now is the new foam mat with the grid lines on it. And we will line that up like so. And we'll then pick this up. Like so. Ink up. I know you can't see this on camera, but I'm, ink I'm inking it up there and bring this over and stamp down. And you can see there that's actually given me a nice impression, like so. So now what I need to do is just put that to one side. I need that copy paper again, which is over here. Grab the white craft ink which is here, and chuck it on. Pop that away. And we'll just heat this up. Okay, so there is my thank you, which has now been heat embossed. And we are going to take some foam pads. And we will stick this on the back here. Don't waste anything, which is unusual for me. <laughs> yes. Okay, and take that brush again and just take off some of the excess. You can rub that on your now. Now that's dry, rub it on your trousers or skirts or whatever, or get a tissue or just take it off. Take off any of that powder, but just make sure that the the white or whatever you're embossing has actually dried first. Because if you do it too soon, you'll just smudge it. Um, ask me how I know that. <laughs> and the final part, we will pop that in like that. And there we go. And there's another thank you card as well. Okay, so we have made, there's the original one. There's the new one there, which we've just done. We have got the, well, can you pass over the one which is drying between some books now? Yeah. That's my first one. That's the the new one so that one's on foam pads this one has just gone flat so it's a bit more um, postage friendly and this one here is a spitting image of what we did okay so old one and new one right there so and that's using the craft ink so we've made that's that's three cards which we've made straight away we have got jay's going to shuffle in the shuffle one card so there's four cards but we've actually made backgrounds to make six cards so you can do something keep it simple We'll see. I'm not sure what we're going to do with those ones, but there you go. There is my three cards. One, two, three. And that's that. Good. So Jay's just going to finish up now yeah. and do the next one. So, hello again. Um, it's like musical chairs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so my card base would be the same as um, as usual. So we just kept it simple with the card bases. Um, and I've got the same mat as uh, the last one that Barry did with this one, which I don't think he said how how big it was. So that one's 9.8. So it's three millimeters bigger than um, the Whisper White on top or one eighth of an inch bigger than the layer. So I've got the same and actually used the last um, imprint uh, of the mask. So this is the one that I spritz the silicone sheet and then put the, uh, the mask on top and then put the whisper white on top. So this is, um, this is what happened uh, and that it's dried. Uh, I didn't need to heat gun it because it was alcohol and it dried okay. So what I've done is I've just, just basically put that on the, on the black and so for this one I thought I would step it up a bit more and I've actually used die cutting um, die cuts and keeping it the same pretty much the same um, layout as what Barry did for his last one so what I used was this is an amazing set if you don't have it it's a must have uh, well written dice because you get loads of different um, sentiments on it and uh, what's it called? Shapes. And for this one, I've actually die cut in Granny Apple Green the leaves. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, stalks. Stalks. Stems. Stems. Um, yeah. Yeah. Plant thingies. <laughs> or if it's hanging down, vines. vines yeah. yeah. Right, I'm just going to keep it. Branch, you can snip in for <gasps> tree branches coming in. Look at you go. I know. Full of I'm ideas. Better calm down a while, but I'm gonna yeah. burn myself out. What to do for the rest of the week now? Yeah, Barry's actually. Um, so this came uh, out of Barry's playtime last weekend, last week. Yes. Yeah. What this? What tonight's? Yeah. yeah it was. And Barry was really um, prepared. So I showed him the um, what I was doing for the creating kindness thing, and then he just made his his own and stepped it up a little bit. So I've just um, stuck that on and I've got a um, basic black thing. Can you pause with the ruler? Because I don't I can't remember. So this one would be the same as the black mat, which was 9.3 um, or what's that in inches? 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 16th of an inch. And I'm just gonna prop that up as well and I've also die cut uh, from the well written this flourish in blushing bride look how pretty it's so delicate and then I'm just gonna prop that up with these what's it called mini dimensionals you're gonna put a sentiment on it first oh no you're doing this to, okay yeah I just realized what you did sorry I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it would have been better, but I'll, I'll just might as well. Put if you're it on. stamping a sentiment, do the stamping first before you put the dimensionals on. But I'm not. But it's not, which is so... why I'm going to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so use your grid mat as well to align it straight, and I'm just gonna plonk that on top like so. And then I'll add the Did which ones? Huh? <laughs> it, well, Barry just um <laughs> just found, found my rubbish. sweetie rubbish. <laughs> they were for both of us. No, <laughs> it was mine. It was Smarties. Rude. Other chocolates are available. <laughs> it was a mini bag from our friend Hillary. Kind of shared. Well, <laughs> you do say I need to eat more. Yes. Eat more sweets. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna put that on. I've decided to have it that way just so the 
flowers are actually on the pad as well and what I what I've die cut is the hooray and that's just gonna go on top like that oh hello Oh, is that Minnie? It is Minnie. She wants cuddles. She always likes cuddles. She wants cuddles. There we go. Oh, do it off. Always a good excuse to take a break from yard work. <laughs> there we go. So you can build that up a bit more and have it um, like stack the hooray if you wanted to. But that is my card. So we um, that's the four cards. Is that what will you put? Four cards, one That's indeed four cards, one stencil. Okay. We'll keep it there. So um, how long have we been going? We've been going for about an hour. An hour. Yeah, cool. So, so four cards in one hour and a good play time as well, yeah. I reckon. So shall we... Yeah, show those all out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Get your makeup brush. Why do you have a makeup brush, Barry? Because it's good for when I shave. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what you use it for? <laughs> I was just kidding. I thought it was for no, crafting. I do actually use it in the bathroom. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and for crafting as well. <gasps> See, given all my secrets away now. <laughs> Right, I'll just do that. Oh, and we're walking. Oh, it's fine. So, lovely. Thank yes. you for joining us. We are really so, wonky. We are really wonky. We're on a wonk, so Jay's been having a few drinks already whilst we've been... That's fine. There we go. That's it. It's out of way wonk. It's another wonk. Right, thank you very much for staying with us. Yes, thank you. Um, I will show you some cards, but I've got my hands full. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll start showing <laughs> then, shall I? What's that, a cue? That was a cue. So that one with the Delicata Silver Pigment Ink Pad. The second one from the second stencil print was this one with Heat Emboss. With the genuine gems, uh, genuine gems, stamp set. sentiment. I quite like that, and it you uh, it's as Barry already mentioned, it's slightly embossed as well. So it's a you can make key. it you can make it more embossed if you put another layer if you put some more layers of card underneath it. You mm -hmm. can you can really get that embossing. You can really make it quite textured. Um, yes. So in the third one is that one with again heat embossing added ribbon on the bottom. And that was the third print. Um, so the top, yeah, so the bottom even. The bottom of this print was that print there. It's great. I, I, that's my favorite. You like that one? I like that one because it's yeah. like hint, hint of it. Yeah, I actually quite like your one here. I think it's a really nice background yeah. actually. I didn't actually see how you did it because I was heating so I'm going to have to watch the video back as well. And this is the last one with die cuts and uh, so I thought instead of the heat embossing I'll do some die cuts and um, put the well written dies and the images on there. So, so you've gone from a very clean and um, precise and clean lines to ending up very messy at the end and literally that was just one, one lot of inking. Yeah. And we've made three, four cards from it. And there's it, still actually. ink on the sponge. As and there's well. still ink on the sponge. There's there's loads more you can do. So this technique will make you loads and loads of cards, and you'd have a lot of fun playing around with it as well. So um, so yes, so I think um, that's it. Thank you, Sandra. Thank Your you, Stephen. Cards, cards. yes. Yeah, so I mean, that was Minnie. Kitty, Kitty, Minnie is very cute. Yeah. Thank you, Jian. <laughs> Thanks so, everyone. Yeah, for thanks joining everyone us. for watching. Sorry, it's been another long one again today. Um, so we do like our long videos, yeah. but we do appreciate you sticking with us and watching and watching on the replay and everything you do. Yeah. We appreciate everything. So thank you very much for sticking with us. 
um, for supporting us. Yeah. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. Yes. So give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up or share this video with your friends. Let us know. Let them know. Give us a comment. And yeah, we'd yeah. love that. And don't forget, if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands, you can purchase current Stampin' Up! products from our online shop. Wow, well, well said. That was, that, was, that was almost scripted, perfect yeah. word for word. <laughs> you could also join our team, the Witosu <laughs> Stampers. <laughs> Great, yeah. <laughs> Um, hit the subscribe button down below. It's, you'll find all the links to all of the products which we've used eventually well, soon once we put them on. They will all be down below for you. Um, there is the subscribe to our newsletter button down below as well. Um, so if you want to get um, updates, um, you can do. We send out a weekly email. And remember to um, like our YouTube channel as well. And you will then be notified of when we're live or when we've not got new videos. We post a couple of times a week, don't we? Yes, and my makeup brush. I can't believe you have. It's good for getting the hair off my neck once I've had a shave. Okay. <laughs> right, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. All Thank right. you so much. Thank you guys. See you soon. See you, soon. See you on Wednesday for our midweek Wednesday over on Facebook. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. And.